Hey guys, JD here with the Yamaha FX SVHO Wave Runner. And today, I'm going to show you how to complete the throttle valve and forced induction system lubrication procedure as specified in the Yamaha service manual. Note that Yamaha recommends completing this at least once every 12 months. However, riding in salt water, I personally am going to conduct this procedure on a regular basis. All right, so you get back from a ride if you're riding in salt water. The Yamahas do have this pleated air filter in here, so that's going to capture a lot of, let's say, mineral content that may be in the air. But nevertheless, you're still going to have that thick saltwater air being sucked into your engine. So as that salty air is ingested into your supercharger, it causes the internal components to rust and corrode, as well as the internal casing itself. It's critical to ensure that the throttle valve can move freely and is not being bound up by any corrosion that can form on the aluminum bore of the throttle body. So the first thing you're going to do is remove this tension clamp right here. All right, so once you have that breather hose out of the way, you're going to want to get your anti-corrosive lubricant ready. This is Lear Corrosion Block Spray. I use this to fog the supercharger on my Kawasaki Ultra 310. Uh, this is an incredible marine product. Let me be crystal clear here. You don't want to use a thicker fogging oil for this procedure. Rather, you want to use an aerosol rust inhibitor like the one I'm using in my demonstration. This is what's specified by the Yamaha service manual. In order to disperse the rust inhibiting lubricant throughout the intake tract, the engine must be running. Remember to start the engine before connecting the water hose. All right, so I've got my flush fitting connected here. I've got the hose ready. And we're going to go ahead and fire up the engine, and then we're going to connect the water supply. All right, so now let's fire up the ski. Ah, All right, so we've got our water on, and you want to make sure that you're getting flow out of your bypass. All right, so we've got water out of the bypass. So with this breather removed and the engine running, we're now going to spray this in for five seconds. If you're using an aerosol product with a straw, like I am in this video, take extreme care not to let that straw fall off and get sucked into your supercharger. I like to give it a rev to make sure that the lubricant is dispersed. Always shut the water supply off before shutting off the engine. I like to do a final rev just to clear out the water box. And that is it. Depending on which spray you use, you may hear the engine RPM drop slightly while you're spraying that lubricant in. Do not spray for more than five seconds or you can introduce too much oil into the system and foul out your spark plugs. So when you spray that product in, it's going right into your intake here, directly into the supercharger. It's then gonna go through this duct here to your intercooler. And then it's going to go down into the throttle body, which is located right below the intake manifold here. So all those components within the supercharger, the fins in the intercooler, and the plates in the throttle body are going to get some lubricant on them. This atomized lubricant will not only protect the components from salt deposits, but from moisture and condensation that build up in the system when stored. This wave runner contains a restrictive ribbon type flame arrester integrated into the intake manifold. Inevitably, this is going to limit the amount of anti-corrosive lubricant we could get to the throttle plate. So finally, we're going to go ahead and reconnect this hose here. So there you go. That is the really simple procedure for lubricating the throttle plates and ultimately the supercharger and intercooler here on the Yamaha FX SVHO. Now, again, this is based on information from the Yamaha service manual. I will be doing this on my personal ski uh, because it is part of the recommended maintenance. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching only on JD's Waterworld. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.